episode. No, I really want to go back and see like a taxidermy guy from ancient Egypt because they were wild. Welcome to Stuff Lab, I'm Gwen. And I'm Marty. And today we're trying best email of the week. I put together random facts about random things and send them to my old bosses. So today we're doing the ostrich. And I forgot all of my facts. Hold on. Oh boy. Marty, you ready to learn about the ostrich? I am. And there, you... Other than being a big terrifying bird? It is one of the biggest most terrifying birds. So here's the inside of an ostrich's mouth. So they don't have teeth. What's that green thing? I don't... Is it veggies? Yeah, all they yeah. eat vegetables. Guess how tall they can be. Seven feet tall. They can get up to nine feet and weigh 320 pounds. And most of their height is leg. A majority of their height is leg. That's too big. I mean, that's pretty big. It's like the biggest bird. I would, wouldn't want to fight it. You probably wouldn't want to. <laughs> I, they will kick the boogers out of you. Yeah, yeah. Like, legit. What's the one that the Australians were in a war with? Or are well, still in a war with? Uh, that was the emu war. Yeah, so that was bad. They have three pound eggs. Oh, God. So there's an ostrich egg, chicken egg, a rhea egg, and an emu egg. Three pounds. Three pounds of egg! Isn't that crazy? That'd be a really good omelet. So all of the hens will mm. lay their eggs in one nest, and then the dominant one, the dominant female, puts her egg in the very center. Mm hmm. And lays on them, but all of the other emus can tell, or I'm sorry, all the other ostriches can tell which egg is theirs. Huh. So they know which chick is theirs. Crazy. Isn't that weird? It's like just piling your babies at daycare. <laughs> like, that's literally what it is. So, so that's what is we want this to... picture of, of all the, so the one in the center is going to be the dominant, the dominant lady? Yep. Hmm. Isn't that wild? Like, there's... I just don't can't believe they can pick out which chick is theirs even out of an egg. I forget Dorian's my cat. You know, maternal stuff and things. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not maternal at all. Nope. <laughs> the day you lay an egg is the day we're going to talk. Some countries in Africa have ostrich races. There's special saddles and reins for an ostrich. What? So I tried to find just a saddle to see what it looked like. I could not find just a picture of a saddle. I kept finding saddles made out of ostrich because <laughs> you can <laughs> use their skin just like leather. I Isn't guess, that crazy? Yeah. Doesn't Canterbury Park have ostrich races? Uh, I think so. I don't know. Yeah. I've never been there. I think they do. I don't know if people ride them or not. I would assume they would. I have no idea. <laughs> so, much like a camel, mm -hmm. they can also go several days without drinking water. They can get all the moisture they need. They'll just suck it out of the roots. And insects oh. and foliage and whatever that they're eating. Yeah. They still drink water and they like to bathe in water. But if they can't find any, they're like, oops. Like these guys here bathing? Yep. Huh. Now, I saw this picture, and I'm like, man, these would be some dope submarines. Now, Could you, you imagine <laughs> kicking the snot out of a different submarine or just going to a battleship and just be like, yeah! <laughs> now, do you think that they're... What is breaking? Nothing. Um, okay. So do you think they're standing or that they're swimming? What? They're, I think they're standing. Okay. Although I'm fairly I'm trying certain to imagine, they do swim. I'm trying to imagine super long ostrich legs kicking underneath <laughs> the water right now. So, in ancient Egypt, the ostrich feather was linked to the goddess, it's M-A apostrophe A-T, it's either Ma'at or Mat. Uh, she's the goddess of truth and justice. When you die and want to enter the afterlife, she would weigh your heart against the weight of an ostrich feather. Hmm. If your heart was equal to or less than the weight of the feather, you had led a very virtuous life and could move forward. If you were a baddie, Amit, uh, think demon, crocodile, hippo, lion. Yeah, that guy. Amit would eat your heart instead, and oh, that would yeah. make you a restless soul, so basically a zombie. Oh, lovely. Yeah, I don't I wouldn't want him eating my heart, I guess. Right? So it's got hippo legs, so it's so you like lion, cheetah, you know, frontward body, and then crocodile head, and then a fancy headdress. That's, that's what No, I really want to go back and see like a taxidermy guy from ancient Egypt, because they were wild. I mean, Egypt's just wild to begin with. I, mean, I don't even think Chuck Testa could come up with these things. And then this was just too cute not to show people. <laughs> I, I don't know, but it's adorable. Color? I don't know. I don't know. Um, their eyeballs? Mm -hmm. Guess how big their eyeballs are? 
three inches. Or is that a really big? That seems like a really big eye. Inch and a half. Like, diameter? Inch and a half? How big is my eyeball? It's not an inch and a half. They're almost five centimeters or almost two inches across. Or about 2.6998 E minus five nautical miles. <laughs> there is a converter for that. <laughs> Why did that have to be a thing? The internet is a mysterious and wonderful place. That is the kind of good information you get from Stuff Lab. There you go. The most scientific. So do you feel that uh, you learned something today? I learned that I want to make an omelet out of their egg. Also that I would not fight them for the egg. Thank you for joining us on Stuff Lab, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.